Or you think it's time for you to go home? Probably. Are you running away from me? I thought I already did. We made the short uh, a year before the feature. I, I, I had written the short and I had a few pages, the very beginning of the, of the feature. As Jason and Roman and I uh, continued to work on our script for the feature, I sort of more and more sort of feeling like Jason was playing the exact same character and at a certain point it just seemed like uh, they were meant to be linked together. Um, in the film we, we see that he's written this episode as a short story at the end of the end of the movie um, so we sort of adapted it um, before we shot it uh, into an, a kind of introduction for the feature I told Jason I want to do it he said he'd do it and we got a hold of Natalie Portman and, and she said that she'd do it and I thought I'd just pay for it myself and I'd just do it right away I hadn't worked with Jason um, since Rushmore um, but we've been very close friends ever since we made that movie, so I had always wanted for us to work together. I, in fact, I'd written a role for him in the Royal Tenenbaums, which we ended up kind of cutting out of the script. In fact, the name of his character became the name of a bird in the movie, of a falcon. To have the opportunity to go and make a short film with Wes after this time was the most gentle and kind of wonderful way to reunite with someone um, professionally. And then I thought uh, Natalie Portman, who I've been a fan of for a long time and who I especially loved in um, Closer, um, I thought she seemed just right for this and that she and Jason might be perfect together. And so we were lucky enough that she agreed to do it. And, um, and I do think as soon as I saw Natalie and Jason together rehearsing, I felt like we really had some that the, the two of them really did seem to click and um, and I was lucky enough just to get my my first choice for both of these roles and it was nice to have Natalie Wes and I and a very small crew for two days in Paris that was a nice way to get your your feet wet I suppose and with the character that was really nice for me to be able to um, to test out the character. It helped so much when I went to India because that is where my character is coming from, this this moment with, uh, with Natalie's character and his head is a little bit unhinged. Oh, Jesus. It, we, we hadn't set up the feature with the studio yet. We were on our own and there was no uh, funding for the movie. And, you know, we were, Panavision loaned us all the equipment for free and uh, the lenses that we've used on the other movies that we, you know, they're expensive, but we managed to get everything. We called it all the favors from all these past several years. Around the time that I wrote this, I had actually been living in Paris for quite a while, off and on, and um, I particularly wanted to make a film there. This hotel is actually the Hotel Raphael. Um, which is a great old hotel. And um, I'd stayed in this yellow room many years ago once. It was a great, it was, I just knew this was sort of a finished set that was waiting for us. I had asked Mark Jacobs, who is the designer at uh, Louis Vuitton, to, um, if he could help us to get the, uh, a suitcase made. It, it was gonna be in the, in the feature we would need this whole set of these suitcases, and we wanted to invent our own. And in fact, I had my brother draw animals that we would use to decorate the suitcases. And so, um, anyway, in order to save money and get this first one made, I asked Mark if he could help us. And they made suitcases for the whole movie and wardrobe. And um, we really had a kind of sponsor with Vuitton. This is the fifth. Uh, film that I've done with, with uh, Robert Yeoman uh, as the director of photography. Bob, Bob shot this um, and he's shot every movie I've done and he's um, always been one of my um, closest uh, collaborators. I can't stand that shot there. You know, for most, most people it'd probably be nice. You want to be here. Yeah, I want to be there. Like this. Take a look at this shot right now. Right uh, I know what you're saying. Yeah. And you dance like What's this 
music. Uh, and in the in the short, the music is uh, this song by Peter Sarstedt, um, "Where Do You Go To, My Lovely." With his latest, "Where Do You Go To, My Lovely," Peter Sarstedt. And when I was writing this um, script for the short, this little script, um, I was at a place where somebody had it on a little compilation CD and it was playing every couple of days and suddenly I kind of combined it with the thing I was writing and um, uh, I think it's, a, it's a, I like that song. And it took me a long time to figure out how do I want to do this because I, I, I felt like I don't always want to show the short first. There's, there's stuff you get in the short that you don't get in the movie and you need to see the short really to get the full picture. So I've, it's been a puzzle to figure out how they really ought to go together. I kind of feel like people who see the movie, they kind of ought to see this short because it, it provides some information that you sort of almost need for the movie. It's a weird thing to have done, um, but it just sort of happened that way. Whatever happens in the end, she said, I don't want to lose you as my friend. He looked into her eyes. I promise I will never be your friend. No matter what, ever. Her voice cracked. We fuck, I'm gonna feel like shit tomorrow. That's okay with me, he said. He lifted her shirt over her head. I love you. I never hurt you on purpose. He nodded. I don't care. He would not be going to Italy. That sound okay? When you're alone in your bed. I enjoyed making it so much because it was a very small, informal group. We worked very quickly. We made a we made a 12-minute section of a movie in two and a half days, and it, we were very comfortable the way we did it. Um, we didn't feel rushed, and also we did it for very little money. Um, and I kind of felt like I'd like to do a short before every movie. 